All right, back again, Luke here. And today we've got out the old PC Engine Super Graphics, and I figured we could put in this game here, Aldenus. So let's pop this in and play some of that. Now this is a really cool shooter here for the PC Engine Super Graphics. An interesting thing about this one, at least from my perspective, is uh, when I play it, the, just the intro music here sounds, uh, sounds a lot like Castlevania music, almost like uh, missing music from Castlevania 3 or so. But this game does take place in 2020, so I figured we could go ahead and give this a shot. And I'll go ahead and turn this on here, let it roll through. And there we have our intro. So like I mentioned before, I don't know about uh, you guys there, but it kind of has a Castlevania vibe here for me. As you can see, it says Get Try. So we'll go ahead and uh, hit the old Start button here and start it up. Uh, this game here has so many different things to talk about, it's going to be a little bit difficult to describe at the beginning here. By pressing the number 2 button rapidly, you can uh, fire here. If you switch the turbo button on, you can do a rapid shot. By turning the, t the rapid fire off and pressing and holding it down, you can get a shield which will basically block and protect you. There are different uh, weapon upgrades you can see here. This is a uh, regular single shot. The other one was kind of a top and uh, ground and air fire shot, which I actually prefer a bit more than this one, but just to show you guys a little bit of the differences. A lot of the flashing characters here, uh, flashing enemies, will be weapon upgrades um, of some sort. And as you can see here, we've got another one of the spread ones. This one will actually make it uh, bigger. At the bottom you'll see that there is, well, that's our uh, sidearms. The bottom you'll see that there is a uh, kind of like a sideways peak meter. And as that gets larger, your weapon power increases. But the game is really awesome. Does some great parallax scrolling and you can get uh, two sidearms here. There's two different things with the sidearms. You can leave them free floating, which they kind of have a mind of their own and they'll go ahead and destroy anything around, or you can press button one and they can kind of sync up here and create quite a massive uh, destructive force here. So either way is okay. But it just has some amazing graphics to it. And the game is uh, fair. It does have some difficulty to it. And on top of that, it does uh, have some fairness to it. Like when you do die, you wind up starting off pretty close to where you did last to die. So. We'll keep this weapon here, just for right now. The music is super catchy on this one. I'm not sure if this is gonna work out. You gotta watch yourself with uh, some of this stuff here. Let's see if we can line ourselves up here. This should be pretty good. first boss here. Now we'll start to morph. If you have a really strong weapon, uh, these bosses are not so difficult at all. But if you have a weak weapon, it takes forever. <laughs> Just gotta dodge everything here. There's a uh, single beam shot which is really strong this one you know it's moderately weak here comparatively 
Oh. A little tricky here. There we go. There's our first boss. But around stage three, I mean, it gets really awesome, like with the scrolling of the stages. Stage two gets a little bit more frustrating, uh, frustratingly difficult here, just because of the, um, you know, the different enemies. You never know where they're coming from, and easy to attack you. Maybe we'll go with this one here. Single beam might be a little bit stronger here overall. But overall, awesome game. Hopefully, everyone's doing okay here. Figured. You know, since everyone's indoors, mostly everyone's indoors, we could do some gameplay vids here. Just kind of pass the time. Here's our max power up for this particular weapon. But yeah, really kind of beautiful looking game here. Depending on which weapon you decide to go with, sometimes it can be a good choice or a bad choice in certain areas. Ah, I'm gonna get stuck with that. No, I don't want it. No. Ah, there we go. Okay, cool. I'm not really a big fan of that weapon, especially the power-up version of it. A lot of kind of dodging going on here. Got to watch out for those green explosions because they will take you out. Ah, I knew I was going to get caught in that trap. <laughs> I think we'll wind up starting off just a little bit beforehand here. But you can see how massive those explosions are. Yeah, overall, I mean, this game is just, it's really amazing to look at. It's got some awesome music to it, and it does have its share of difficulty for sure. It's interesting, it's like those explosions don't kill everything on screen, so you have to be a bit cautious. And it really is a kind of guessing game here as to which path is the best one to take because each one has a different obstacle that you will encounter. Sometimes it's just a bit much. <laughs> Woo. There's our sidearms. Nice. That'll take care of most of these guys. Get away! Oh, that's another upgrade that I could get, but unfortunately, since this guy is be following me, <laughs> a little tricky to get. We'll be coming up here on our next boss here pretty soon. This weapon's not too bad, but if you upgrade it again, it gets a little bit too much. So we're just going to keep this here. Um, it does kind of like a rolling, scrolling thing. This is our second boss, which is another kind of cool looking boss here. Now we're not going to get a complete shot off here. Whoa. Yeah, this is difficult to, maybe we should just line this one back up here. This might be a bit better. Wah! It's actually, this uh, weapon here is not all the greatest for that stage, or for this boss. Maybe we can find a better upgrade for it. But uh, if we don't, ah! <laughs> which we probably won't. <laughs> Just wanted to share a little bit of a look at what uh, Aldenus looks like here for the PC Engine Super Graphics. And it is a really cool game. Um, it does have its challenge to it. 
but it's very, I think, reasonable when coming back to the uh, places where it starts you off. Just some amazing music, fantastic uh, graphics to it as well. This one here is really not going to upgrade us anything special since we don't have any specific weapon upgrades. Wah! I think that's probably where we're going to end it too. <laughs> but if you guys stuck on this long, then fantastic. Just a little bit of a look at the game in action and, you know, something fun to do here while we're all sitting at home. But nonetheless, that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So thanks for watching. Watching some pretty poor gameplay here, but <laughs> hopefully enjoyable nonetheless. Take care, guys. We'll see you again here soon. Yay! So, I think it might actually go through the demo a little bit too, so you guys can take a look at that. I don't know exactly where it'll start off. It might just start first stage. Yeah. You can listen to that rockin' music. Those S's are actually speed upgrades, so... But you'll notice at the bottom there, like when the enemy starts approaching, the bottom starts shaking, the ground starts shaking, which is kind of a cool effect. Stage 3, which I wasn't able to show you guys, is uh, a really neat one. But if you guys have a chance to pick this up and play it, or if you have a chance to emulate it, give it a shot. Uh, I totally recommend it. It is quite an interesting game, quite fun, and it does ramp up the difficulty, you know, as it goes on. But it's a cool one to play nonetheless. longer uh, intros here as far as gameplay goes. Some games usually just show you a little bit of gameplay. This one shows you pretty much you know, the whole beginning up until you know the first boss. But... go. So, take care. We'll see you again here. Here's a, another one of the later stages. But just that music is super awesome. I probably should have ended this video uh, about five minutes ago. <laughs> but it's just cool to see and cool to listen to. See how your shield comes in handy there. But really neat how they show, you know, this much of the gameplay throughout uh, just the introduction, you know, it's kind of like a till I die 
gameplay part. <laughs> so, we'll catch you again here soon.